Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Aware Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts around science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, we are going to solve this question on lead code regarding find top performing driver. The difficulty level of this question is medium, and I'm going to share the SQL schema as well as the Panda schema in the description box below. Okay, the question reads We are given a table called drivers with five different columns driver ID, name, age, experience, and accidents. Driver ID being the unique key for this table. We are also given a second table called vehicles with again five different columns. Columns, vehicle ID, driver ID, model, fuel type and mileage. The combined columns vehicle ID, driver ID and fuel type is the unique key for this table. And we also have a third column called trips, again five different columns. Trip ID, vehicle ID, distance, duration and rating. Trip ID is the unique key for this table and each row includes a trip ID, the vehicle used, distance covered in miles, the trip duration in minutes and passengers rating from 1 to 5. Uber is analyzing drivers based on their trips. We are asked to write a solution to find the top performing driver for each fuel type based on the following criteria. A driver's performance is calculated as the average rating across all their trips. Average rating should be rounded to two decimal places. If two drivers have the same average rating, the driver with the longer total distance travel should be ranked higher. If there is still a tie, Choose the driver with the fewest accident. Return the result table ordered by fuel type in ascending order. Let's go through this example. Here, in the driver's table, we have three different drivers, Alice, Bob and Charlie, driver ID 1, 2 and 3. These are their ages, experience and accidents. And then we have a second table called vehicles. So we have three different vehicles for each of these drivers. 1, 2, 3 and vehicle ID is 100, 101 and 102 and two of them are gasoline and one of them is electric and then we have a trips table with six different trips. So let's look at since the question says for every fuel type we want the top performing driver. So since there is only one vehicle which is of electric fuel type let us see so for electric Obviously, this is going to be the best performing driver, driver ID 2. Now, driver ID 2 and vehicle ID 101 has two different trips. So, what is the total distance? 180. What is the average rating? 4 plus 5 divided by 2, that is 4.5. Right. So, if we look at electric, so to driver ID 2, average rating is 4.5, total distance is 180. Similarly, we can try to do that for gasoline as well and there, driver ID 3 comes best. So, to solve this question, basically what we need is, we need to join these three tables into one so that we have the fuel type because that is important for us we have the total distance we have the rating column and we also have the accidents because all these four columns are going to be used to calculate the top performing driver so let's start with this let us join everything at one place so from this table called trips alias as t let us perform a left join of the vehicles table alias as v using which of the column so vehicle id is common in these two so we can do on t dot vehicle id is equal to v dot vehicle id and then let us again perform a left join of the second third table that is drivers alias as d v dot driver id is equal to d dot driver id okay now once we have the joints performed everything will be at one place so after in this trips table we are going to include the model fuel type mile mileage etc their age experience accidents name etc right so once we have the entire thing it says we need to find this for every fuel type so what we can do is we can group by the fuel type and then by the driver ID because for every fuel type we need the best performing driver. So to get the best performing driver we firstly need to find out okay for every fuel type and driver ID what is the average rating, what is the total distance traveled, what is the number of accidents etc. Right let's try to do and get that. So let us do group by the fuel type now fuel type is in the table vehicles so group by v dot fuel 
type and we need the driver id as well so what we can do is we can group by v dot driver id as well so v dot driver id let us return both this column so v dot fuel type v dot driver id and then what all do we need to rank them we need the average rating across all their trips and that should be rounded to two decimal places so average rating is basically average of the rating column so rating belongs to trips so t dot trips and you need to perform the average of this so average of this thing and it should be rounded to two decimal places so round this entire thing to two decimal places and then this should be aliased as what is required in our output rating so as rating and then we need the total travel distance as well because if there is a tie then we need to rank the driver with the longer total distance higher so we can get the total distance is basically the sum of the distance column so basically sum of the t dot distance column is the total distance and this should be aliased as what is required in our output as distance itself then we also need that if there is a tie between these two then we need the driver with the fewest accidents that means we need this column as well now you might be thinking how can we get the accidents because since we performed a join right so if we look at this right vehicle id 100 so vehicle id 100 has two different trips and vehicle id 100 belongs to driver id 1 and driver id 1 has one accident so in while while you perform these joins you will be basically having two rows where number of accidents will be one in this first row as well as second row and since you are grouping by the fuel type and the driver id then how can you get because if you perform a sum it will be one plus one right so number of accidents will become two however that is not going to be correct why because what is the accidents made by the driver id one one right so the question says choose the driver with the fewest accidents how can we get that is if instead of performing a sum if you do an average so it does not matter how many trips you had here you have vehicle id 100 belonging to driver id 1 two different trips if you perform an average so 1 plus 1 divided by 2 is basically 1 let's say 101 was three different times and 101 is basically belonging to driver id 2 driver id 2 in total has three accidents so it will be 3 plus 3 plus 3 divided by 3 that is again going to come 3 right so if you perform an average of the accidents column it is actually going to give you the accidents made by the particular driver so if we go and do this average of the accidents column comes from drivers table so d dot accidents and let's alias this as accident and let me go ahead and run this and let's see if we have the correct information or not okay if we look at this what we have here is we have the fuel type right let me just drag it to the left so we have fuel type gasoline electric and gasoline and then for driver ids one two and three these are their average ratings then this is the total distance travel and number of accidents and if we look at and compare it with the driver's table so we have the driver's table here driver id 1 2 and 3 what is the total number of accidents 1 3 and 0 and we have 1 3 and 0 so you see how it works out now once we have this what we want is for every fuel type which is the top performing driver so what we can do is let's save this in entire thing in a common table expression so with cte as this entire thing goes into parentheses and then let's perform a ranking so that the best driver in each fuel type is a rank one so from this common table expression what we are going to do is let us return all the columns and then we need it for every fuel type so what we do is we need to perform a rank so let's use row number rank dense rank it does not matter so let's do row number and then over partition by the fuel type column and then we need the ranking in 
in a way that follows these three conditions. That is, firstly, the driver with the highest average rating. So, order by rating in descending manner. If there is a tie by total distance in descending manner. And if there is still a tie with the fewest number of accidents. So, accident. And let's alias this as rank. Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get in our output. So, now if we look at our output, we have for every fuel type so if we look at for electric there is only one so obviously rank equal to one and for this highest average rating is five and then distance travel is obviously greater and so on so rank equal to one now we only need to keep those rows where rank is equal to one and we need only certain columns out of this output so what we can do is let's save this in another common table expression so cte to as this entire thing goes into parentheses as well and then what we are going to do is from this common table expression 2 let us keep only those rows where rank equal to 1 that is the highest performing or the top performing driver in every fuel type category and then in our output we only need four different columns that is fuel type so return fuel type return me the driver id return me the rating and return me the distance and that is all and we need to order this by fuel type in ascending order so order by fuel type in ascending order let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah this is accepted if we look at our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit to see past all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how you do it so yeah very tricky question what we basically had to do was firstly we combined all the three tables into one so that we have all the required columns in one place and then we grouped by the fuel type and driver id so that we can get for every fuel type and driver id what is the average rating the total distance travel and the number of accidents once we had that information we performed a ranking to get the top performing drivers every fuel type and once we had that since the best one will be assigned rank equal to one we kept only those ones and returned the required columns as asked in the question so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better or more efficient solution to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video